So, hi everyone. Uh, thanks for coming to hear our talk. So, we are very glad to be here. So, let's start. So, today we're going to talk about the new chapter of FluentD, uh, rebranding and new release cycle, LTS, stands for long term support. So, let me introduce ourselves. We are maintainers of Fluentd project. Uh, I am Daijiro Fukuda, and he is Kentaro Hayashi. And we are also the software engineers at Clear Code. So Clear Code is a software development company located in Japan. And Clear Code drives forward the free software and make it business. And so I think uh, we are trying something unique. Anyway, so we are participated in uh, many free software development. So this graph shows how active in the GitHub repository of FluentD uh, these two years. So three of four top contributors are from Clear Code. So we are very, uh, we are deeply involved in the recent development of FluentD. So the number three is me. Daibon. And the number four is Ken Hayashi, yeah, Mr. Hayashi. Yes, so today the number one, Hashie, is not here, even though please be happy with us today. So here is the agenda of our talk. So first topic is what is FluentD? And the second topic is history of FluentD. So how FluentD was developed and uh, how the Fluent package was born. And third topic is what new Fluent package LTS? So we released the new package, Fluent package this year. So we're gonna explain it in details. Then fourth topic is remarks of updating. Uh, so how users can update to Fluent package from TD agent and why users should. And last but not least, we're going to talk about our major changes and the future of FluentD. At, at the end of this talk, we will be happy if everyone here understands about FluentD and new package and feel encouraged to use them and more people interested in the FluentD community. So let's start with what is FluentD? I'm sure everyone here heard about FluentD. <laughs> no, FluentD? Yes. Uh, the need to collect data continues to expand, and uh, FluentD is one of known data collectors. So FluentD is an open source data collector that unifies data collection and consumption. Uh, set, it is set in official website, and it is used by so many companies and also forked over 1,300 times in GitHub. So FluentD is a very famous product. Yeah, so here is an image of data collection without FluentD. So in recent use cases, there are many data sources and data outputs. So data sources are like uh, log files and syslog and so on. And data comes from uh, many kinds of sources and in different formats. And data outputs are like files, databases, and search engines, and so on. And it requires to be a specific format. So without FluentD, it will be very complex like this. But FluentD solves it. FluentD unified logging layer and organizes data processing. So FluentD can do a whole set of things that are important for data processing. Uh, collecting and filtering and formatting and buffering and routing and sending. And so as you can see, uh, data collection will be very simple 
with fluent D. So there are three remarkable points why use fluent D. First, flexibility. So fluent D has a plugin system. And the plugin system unifies many data sources and data outputs. And second, scalability. So Fluent D can handle large data collection. And also, it is well compatible with distributed systems, like cloud, compu cloud native computing. And third, open source and the community. So anyone can participate in the development of Fluent D. So first, flexibility. So Fluent D has a plugin system. And there are over 1,000 plugins for many data sources and outputs. So you can choose and combine them, and you can achieve what you want. And if you cannot find any plugin you want, then you can make your own plugins with Ruby. Do you love Ruby? No? <laughs> Do you love Ruby? Yes, it is very convenient. And second, scalability. When Fluent D works as forwarder and aggregators in the log system, you can change the number of forwarders and aggregators uh, depends on how, that, how much data to transfer. So how to manage it is all up to what you want. And the number of instances can be dynamically changed, so this scalability is very important. For fluent D. And third, open source and the community. So fluent D is open source. The license is Apache License 2.0. So you can refer to the implementation and you can make your own plugin. Also, if you find any bugs, you can report it. And some bugs, it, some bugs are fixed with the community's help. So you can join the development of Fluent D. And if it is necessary, uh, the community supports to maintain your plugins with nursery project. So you can get help to maintain your plugins. It's now you know what is Fluent D and why you use it. So next, I'm going to tell you the history. Fluent D was born on 2011 at Treasure Data. Uh, Treasure Data is United States origin company providing the marketing data platform. So and version one is released on 2017. So it was the base of the current product. And also, Fluent D was accepted to Cloud Native Computing Foundation, CNCF, on 2016. And on 2019, it became the graduated maturity level. So it is a great thing. So it was good to have support from CNCF for Fluent D. So now I'm going to explain the history of the package. So distribution package of Fluent D has also been developed from the early days of the development of Fluent D. So we need a package to use Fluent D more easily. So Fluent D doesn't work without any plugins in the practical use cases. So users need to install the plugins for specific features. And uh, also, Fluent D requires a Ruby environment. So if there is a package including the often used plugins and Ruby, it is very convenient for users. So the package you know, Fluent D wa ha has been developed. So here is the history of the package. 
Uh, as a package, a TD agent was developed by Treasure Data 2011. So originally, the package was for Treasure Data's own services, but it became widely used as a general package of FluentD. As you can see, along the development of FluentD, TD agent had been developed too. And recently, the development became the community basis. And this year, we release Fluent package as a successor of TD agent. So why we change the name and what else has changed? So why we change the name? Yes, actually, it was a big change we had made. Yes, the reason of this change is uh, generally the name of package is better to describe its main software and the name TD agent does not associate with FluentD. So it is difficult to imagine the TD agent is actually the package of FluentD. And also TD agent is so-called all-in-one package, so not limited for treasure data services anymore. So the new package name, Fluent Package, reflects the community-driven community development. So it is important to make the name describing it includes FluentD. So we have discussed with the community and make the name Fluent Package. So it was a big challenge to change the name for developers. So we have worked through to make sure it does not cause many troubles for users. So finally, we made it. We made it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So, you know, it's not easy to change the name. Yeah, we're gonna share details later. Yes. And also, while changing the name, uh, we discussed with the community about the new release cycle as well. So I have introduced what is FluentD and uh, the history of it. Now you realize the name have changed. So what else has changed? Not only did we change the name, but also we changed the uh, release cycle. Yeah, that is the Fluent package LTS. Yes, so now let me share what is new, the current package LTS. So LTS means long-term support. So the newest version, version 5.0.2, had been released at this November. So it is recommended for stable production use. So while we are involved in the development of FluentD, uh, there are a certain number of requests uh, to have a longer support life cycle. So in the LTS package, we provide scheduled life support life cycle. And in that life cycle, we provide only the security fixes and bug fixes. So it makes it easy to update continuously. So we believe that uh, this will meet the needs of users, users who want to use FluentD more stably over the long term. So I'm gonna explain the life cycles in more detail. So there are two channels with different life cycles, a standard and LTS. A standard is the same life cycle as TD agent. So it is very simple. About every three months, we update the emulate fluent D to the latest version. So you can always use the latest functionalities with standard channel. But some users may feel it is difficult to update. So because they may 
they may worry about encountering new bugs or losing compatibility. So on the other hand, LTS lifecycle is for two years or so. And we continue to provide only security fixes and bug fixes. So it means less possibility you know, encountering new bugs or losing compatibility. So it is recommended for stable production use. And uh, here is a chart to describe the schedule image. Yes, so first section describes the uh, schedule of TD agent version 4 series. And it is already announced TD agent version 4 series reaches end of life uh, by the end of 2023, so this year. And the middle part with a white background is a standard channel and the bottom part with yellow background is the LTS channel. As currently, both provide the same package, version 5.0, but it will change in the future. So as you see, in standard channel, so we update the minor version. Oh, sorry, I, I have a point. <laughs> so so uh, currently, the both uh, provide the same package, version 5.0. Uh, but in the future, yes, in standard version, we provide, we will provide the version 5.1 when the next minor version update, no friend D, version 1.17. Yes, so this is different from LTS channel. Yeah, in the LTS channel, we continue to provide version 5.0 series at least for two years. Yes. And we announce the major update scheduled in advance. So at the moment, the next major update, version six, will be released on 2025. So the current version, 5.0, will be supported until then. Yes. So, Let's summarize the points of the front package LTS. First, secure and stable operation. As you can easily continue updating. And second, less hassle for major updates. So we announce the support lifecycle in advance. So it makes major updates more user friendly. So user doesn't need to be hassles. Uh, we hustle instead. Okay, so Mr. Hayashi will take over the rest of the presentation. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. Uh, thank you for Fukuda. Uh, then I'm going to take over the rest of the presentation. Uh, I'm mainly contributed to friend package, the development of friend package. Uh, so fit to explain it. Hearing what he had told, uh, now I'm sure you are ready to use new friend package. Now we're going to hear some points that what uh, need to be remarked for update. This information uh, would be useful for you. Many of, uh, uh, many of you might wonder how difficult to update. In most cases, uh, you just install a foreign package. Just install with uh, installation script. It's ready to use it. Uh, you can feel how easy it would be to update. But minor migration is still necessary because TDDs can be customizable paths in many ways. 
we can expect the, all those migration paths, radio manual migration. Basically, uh, we take care of uh, keeping com compatibility. So if you upgrade from TD version 4, uh, you can still use all command, uh, all config files and command names, uh, username and groups. If you had ever explained package development, uh, the package or RPM package, uh, you know the difficulty of these transitional package. The internal process was changed and for properly to all command, it needs to make simple links uh, for moving all the raw files. Uh, it needs to implement a metal hook script. Using metal hook script, uh, must be carefully implemented and not to break a package at all. For usability uh, of all raw voltage conversion, you need to keep all user name and groups. If you install a new reference package, this compatibility layer is not provided. There are three kinds of manual migration cases. In general, uh, specific to Linux and specific to Rebindo. We already published Actuary Guide uh, as friendly uh, blog article. Please say, in general, uh, if you install additional programs, you need to really install programs for friend package. This is because the uh, program path of TD is not recognized by foreign package. Recent version of the foreign diagnostic tool jam supports to detect only a list of binary local installed gems. So it will help to in reinstall gems for foreign package. And you need no, you need to update the firepass setting if you're monitoring for these rock files. For Linux uh, you need to carry new password for package. A burn file, rubber rotate configuration, and system unit file. As for system D unit file, if you customize it, you need to update for the binary process and some environment variable too. For Windows, if you customize command right argument, you, uh, you need to set them again because friend package reinstall or reset them. And note that since friend package version 5, friend this service does not start automatically. There's no merit to start automatically because you need to shape configuration in advance. On Windows, uh, there's one more thing for you. It is not limited to a uh, foreign package change. Uh, since TD version 4.4.2, .4 uh, system directive was supported. So you need not to customize command line arguments for log rotate configuration. Just use system directive in foreign DD configuration. This will make your system maintenance easier because no need to uh, fix row rotation option via command line. We have explained a remark topic about general and platform spe specific ones. If you have any problem found in your system, uh, please let us know. Friendly community can support you. Next talk is major changes. Uh, we are going to share technical details of new version. These points were covered in previous section, but let me explain again. If updated from TD agent version 4, command name was changed to friend D or friend Jam, but you can still use the old command name. And the name of system, the unit file, was also changed to D. 
you can still use TD edges as system D's alias. On Windows, Friendly service doesn't start automatically. There are many improvements in for friend package. Remarkable changes are bug fixes of Intel in friend D and update with binary revision. This is a screenshot of friend D release node. There was a wrong standing bug which wrongly stopping tearing Intel. Intel is used to correct the abandoned content of log files. This bug was observed time to time, but hard to fix it. Something happened and not happened. Uh, that one was fixed in recent release of Frente D, uh, 1.16.2. And 1.16.3, uh, with collaboration of many users. The code was found and it was fixed. He, Fukuda, and the chain number one contributor of FrontD done it. <laughs> he did a great job. This is a screenshot of GitHub's issue about this bug. Feedback from user are very appreciated. This is screenshot of suggested fix. We could fix it, uh, fix it because uh, with this kind of feedback. Without it, I don't know when we, we could fix it. I don't know. Uh, Ruby 2.71 reach end of life. So for it package vendors uh, Ruby 3.2. Ruby 3.2 process faster with performance improvements. You can take advantage of it. So it is still experiment, experimental in front D, but I'm sure you know you can try wise it. If front D developer could correct enough positive feedback, wise it will be never very default in some day. We have explained current work and it is important for the committee to think about the future. In order to plan future, uh, there's understanding the current portion is necessary. So, here are some facts from statistics of R&D activities. From these uh, statistics, we may see what had happened and what will happen. First, I will introduce recent top five requests against TD agent friend package repository on AWS. Most of the requests came from United States and followed by Netherlands, Japan, France, and Ireland. In Japan, TD agent uh, for package are uh, used more than we expected. Compare them between before LTS and after LTS. The access from Taiwan is gradually increased. It is curious fact, but I don't know the reason why. If anyone knows the reason, please tell us later. We have found the uh, undesirable fact. Most of users still use version three or version four. Version three are all old version, unmented. It's a surprise because there is still an access for version two. It's old, old, old stable. It should not be used. We find the popular package is TD Agent version 4 for Amazon Linux. TD Agent package is provided for Intel architecture, but maybe with custom merit, ARM architecture was selected. Currently, 
uh, GitHub discussion has low activity. Many questions were posed, but there's a few number of supporters. So we want to encourage users to help each other. The feature. How do you feel about the fact of statistics? First one, uh, we introduced LTS for enterprise use, so don't keep using old package. Second one, uh, currently it adds to more community-based development, but repository hosting is heavily relied on Twitter data. It's hard to own friendly package, uh, friendly project, but massive traffic. So we contact to CNCF for sponsoring. CNCF is supportive about it. Third one, there's difficulty uh, to get help in timely manner in uh, GitHub discussions. Please, more and more people join it. When fixing for Intel bug, many people give us feed up. So it is happy if same thing will happen on GitHub discussion too. Last but not least, uh, release channel of edges has just started. We want to keep continuous release with your feedback. Oh, here's the wrap up. If you feel excited to know a uh, friend package LTS and want to use it or want to join friendly community, very appreciate it. Thank you for the program. We'd wrap the talk afterwards if you have some feedback. Thank you. Uh, thank you for a good presentation. Okay. I have a question. Yes. Um, uh, I, I'm currently using Friendly, but I know that uh, I think there are very similar packages, Friendbit. Friendbit. So uh, when I know I knew the Friendbit, I had thought that Friendd will be deprecated in near future, and then it will be this would be replaced to a bit, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, it seems that you guys uh, uh, try to do more, more, more aggressive work for Friendly. So I would like to know, uh, 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 is, there, is there a plan to duplicate a Friendly and replace to a Friendbit, or you guys, we, you guys will continue to support Friendly? <laughs> Uh, thank you for your question. Uh, yes, uh, there is Fluent Bit, so it is more lightweight version you know, of Fluent D. But uh, it will be coexist with Fluent D, we think. Yes, so example, yeah, this is an example of a uh, data collection system. And Fluent D, uh, Fluent Bit is more lightweight, so we can uh, use it in the some folders to uh, in which in which we can't use more resources, mm -hmm. yes. But uh, some environment uh, we can use more resources. We can use Fluent D, and the aggregators, uh, as aggregators, we can use Fluent D too. And the merit of Fluent D is that there are many plugins, and uh, we can make plugins with Ruby. So it is very easy to make plugins. So we can easily the expand the functionality with what you want. Mm -hmm. So it is merit of friend D. So we think uh, the friend D and friend B will coexist in the future. Oh. 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 
オッケーです。センキュー。あ、アイアンダスタンズだと、ウィキャンユーズボーソーブフレンドリーアンドフレンドビットフォアロングタム。Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you.